Welcome to this tutorial. Uh, today I'm responding to one of uh, the members in the Discord channel who asked for uh, some sort of a multi filtered search, like a search where you can use not only uh, the text input but also radio buttons, select options, stuff like that. So we will try to create uh, that sort of search pattern together. Um, <clears throat> so we normally opened like this code sandbox. Um, let's just change this to our members or something like that and for today i will use uh this uh, what you call mock arrow or something like that which gives you some randomly generated data here what we need we don't need first name and last name we just need full name and we turn this to full name we need email gender we don't need ip instead let's just give it a picture and avatar we might need one more thing for the search for example this is gender and let's look for position and here yeah department let's change this to department and arrange our data according to yeah i think this is okay change this to json or any data format that you want then you can download it or you can just preview it in our case and copy and paste it it sounds like to be a bit long so yeah it gave us a hundred uh, instance of this data so we simply come here and save it in a file we name it employees.json or anything that you want and just what happened we didn't want that let's go back and see why so copy yeah now we have the data now be careful when you save the data as json you can't uh, export it like a javascript uh, what you call uh, object or something like that this is json it means it only accepts arrays or uh, objects so let's get back to our app and import it name it data from data.json uh, could not find module okay we named it employees.json okay so let's uh, see if we have the data yeah we have the data <coughs> first things first let's um, just to have uh, some sort of a vision of this let's have these columns as a comment and let's do data dot map person return by now you should know this but let's just return a div uh, 
where is the key is equal to person dot id okay and an h4 where we show person dot full name by now you should know this stuff that's why i don't talk about them that much uh person dot email person dot gender let's just copy and paste person dot departments let's see if we have this and make one horizontal line between each person okay and let's just put the picture here image source person dot picture and all person dot full name yeah we have the pictures <coughs> okay now we have this let's do the usual search which we have done it so you should know it by now but if you don't know it it's actually why not zoom it a bit const text search or just text set text equals to use state and at first it's empty then after this we create input type text value text and on change it's equal to set text E dot target dot value now we close down the input let's create a label for it search label for search and yeah search it's okay now now we have the input and you should know this also well by now but we just created const text search equals to data dot filter and let's give it a person of return when person dot full or why not just create some variables in order to be able to search through not only full name but email um, yeah also email so we say const name equals to person dot full name const email equals to person dot email const info equals to name plus email okay and what do we return here info dot trim dot to lowercase now trim trims down any kind of space to lowercase makes everything lowercase then includes searches for inclusion we search for anything that we type in text so includes text also trim the text down and make it to lowercase okay now to make this effective instead of data.map we say text search.map and i guess our app stopped working for some reason okay now if we look for for example a name that we have here m fox let's say m fox as you see the search works and it, it has no problem now even the email works for example we look for b cat chair site b 
at chest side and it works perfectly so now let's tackle the other issue which is the issue for uh, say we want uh, these uh, people to be uh, searchable or to be able to search for them by gender well first things first just create gen search gen or two pieces of state as a use state just like the normal search okay second thing now this is a very new uh, thing so I want you to learn really well how do we create arrays in JavaScript we use something called array from to create arrays from other things now let's create an array from hello something like this const new array equals to array from hello this string then let's give it new array and see what we see here uh, okay we see an array from these 11 letters H E L L L L then O O O something like this so now we can we know that in JavaScript we create arrays from strings or objects or other things from by array from there is something else it's called uh, set const set equals to new set let's say new array okay now let's console.log our set and s check what we see so we have the usual array which is the first console.log for the set we see we have h e l o y so set is creating an array without repetition array from creates an array from other things set uh, removes the duplication now why do we need those two well simply because if we want to search according to gender there are repeated genders so this gender is part of another array so we have to use array from to create another array but there are repetitions like gender queer gender queers things like that so we have to use set to remove these duplications now it's time to do this this is a very advanced topic in JavaScript but it can be very easy so we say array from then in the array what do we make array from from this new set which comes from what comes from data data <coughs> dot um, map so we search uh, through the data then return a person where we want an array from person to gender so I know this is very complicated like it it's looks very complicated but believe me once you understand that array from creates an array a new set uh, uh, removes uh, repetition then all you need is to reach your data which you reach is through data dot map then person person dot gender something like that and if we look at this for example if we console dot log this let's see what we have we see we have male non-binary gender queer by gender polygender uh, gender female gender fluids things like that so we have eight while we have many more if it were if there was repetition but new set removed those so all we need now let's remove the console.log is to map through these once again so we do map and we do gender 
and we say for example return a paragraph with the gender let's see what we have it doesn't work we have to solve the problem uh, it says uh, we have a problem somewhere yeah okay now we have mail this now all we need is to put this inside an option or select so we look for html select and yeah we have this so let's copy and paste this somewhere in our comment we need this select to be above <coughs> our uh, so this select contains every kind of uh, value in our array let's make this smaller so you can see it so we put it just before the array just before we create the array and just after the array we close it down select okay and instead of the paragraph we return this option now we say uh, okay before that let's just put some brs here okay now we see we have eight volvos that's because our option the value is volvo which should be gender and uh, the output is volvo which again should be gender now we see we have male non-binary gender queer and everything of course let's just change this to gender and id to gender Now we want to map out any value that we click that we appear here to this gen. How do we do that? Well, simply we make it on change e set gen to e dot target dot value. Now let's console.log our gen and see what we have okay for now it's empty but if we choose something we see it changes so our work is almost done now what we do we create the gender search const gen search equals to but gender search searches after text search text search dot filter let's say person and return now here we have a problem first we open the application this shows empty so we have to count that we say if gen was empty then return well just return honestly person like anything that we have else if person person dot gender if person dot gender was equal to gen then return gen now this is over let's replace this text search to our gender search and see if it works hopefully so we don't want males we want gender fluid we see all gender fluid here and if we look for a specific someone like Habin we say Habin and it is from gender fluid okay now if we want non-binary we see all the non-binary 
and if you want like to search more in non-binary for example Wilton we see Wilton so this works well now let's try something else let's try uh, radio for radio let's remove this and what do we have for radio well we have these departments once again we create an array from these departments <coughs> so it's almost a repetition by now but after the select let's have a couple of brs or breaking lines and do array from new set of data dot map where person gives us person dot department was it department yeah department just copy and paste it if you are not sure and once again we map through it and show department which let's name it a bit differently return a paragraph what happened I return a paragraph of depot okay we have human resource cells everything without repetition so now let's search for HTML radio okay we have uh, this and we just copy and paste it so here let's have a return okay and have this okay now we see of course this should be closed down in JSX and it still doesn't work because label for mail mail label this VR should also be closed down now you see we have eight mails okay to make this uh, first of all we want a department here or depot here yeah. okay now we have the depot uh, input type radio ID depot name depot this for depot value should be also depot because that's how we can change it <coughs> so let's create a state for department as well const dep set dep equals to use state this uh, empty again and okay here we have value which is depot we can say on change set dep to e dot target dot value something like that now if we always console.log your stuff in order to be sure so let's console.log uh, dep and see what we have and remove everything do support human resource do support support training training so our job is just repeating what we have okay we create another search we say const depot search equals to this time not data not text search but gen search 
chainsearch.filter person once again if dep was empty just return person if not uh, else if person dot department was equal to dip then return dip <laughs> I almost forgot uh, so this instead of gen search we look for depo search now let's see if it works hopefully so we have human resource but we only want legal so we only have legal we only want female people in legal we only have female but it's one so let's change it to male let's see if we have two or we have three so let's say we still search for homeless we say we have almost which is in the legal department and he's male 